Hello. Hi, everybody. Welcome to Poppies and Pansies Decor. Um, thank you for joining me today and for being part of the collaboration with the other um, seven artists. This has been a really fun um, event for us to put together, and I'm really excited that you have joined. And I hope that you will give my tutorial a try. It's super fun. Um, I've been a little bit worried that um, people will think that it's too advanced, they won't be able to do it, but I want to reassure you that it is not. It is, um, it's ex really easy, and um, we use minimal paint, um, minimal tools, and you don't have to know any specific um, certain strokes or painting techniques or have any art training, anything. It, it's just, it's super easy and um, I think you'll have a blast doing it. Uh, the first thing that I want to tell you is that um, we're, the, what we're going to be using. So um, in the video, um, we're, we use the, uh, the Secret Garden stencil. This is a Posh Chalk stencil. And the reason that I chose this stencil is because it has all these different elements in it. So I, we didn't, I didn't want you to have to feel like you needed to buy a bunch of different stencils. And um, so we're gonna use, in the video, we use the brick and we use the Florida de lis that are in it. And we don't, it has this beautiful moss element in it also. We don't use this in the video, but you could. You absolutely could, um, but you have it to use at a later time. I think it's beautiful. Um, this is one of my favorite stencils from Posh Chop. So this is what we'll be using. And um, we also use the Posh Chalk Petite Trowel, and it looks like this. It's just a little small one. It's lovely. Um, it's easy to use, especially in small areas. And then we use the Posh Chalk Flexible Paste. So this is what we use to create the raised stencil in the video. Now, um, I do have a kit that's available for you to get all of the products. If you sign up um, and use a coupon code, which we'll send you an email about when you sign up, um, then you get all the products for 15% off. So we wanted to make it um, more economical for you to participate and have fun. Um, so the paint that we're going to use in the project, we have four different colors. Um, one is, two of them are chalk paint from Dixie Bell. One is called Rusty Nail and the other one is called drop cloth. You will get um, four ounces of each of these in your kit, which is plenty for what you're going to do. The other colors that we're going to be using are Posh Chalk Metallic Paste. We're going to be using the one uh, Black Carbon, and the other one is called Green Phalo. So um, those, are the, those are the tools that you'll be using. Now in the video, I am using a, um, a pretty large canvas. It's a 24 by 36 inch. You do not need to have a canvas that large. Um, in fact, I would encourage you to probably get something a little bit smaller. It's what I had and so I decided to just use it. And in fact, quite often I go to thrift stores and if I find canvases there that are sizes that I'm looking for and they're in good shape, they're not falling apart, they're held together really well, I'll buy those and paint over them and use them, re reuse them again. And um, the thing that you need to know is if you decide to use your own paint that you already have, a lot of you already have tons and tons of paint at your house, I'm sure, that is totally fine. If you want to use acrylic, then the thing that you need to do is make sure that you put, and I don't know if I have any here, um, acrylic is going to have a little bit harder time sticking to um, the paste. So if you were going to want to put a coat of white gesso over the top of your after you've done your raised stencil, then you're going to put a coat or maybe even two of white gesso and let it dry overnight before you start painting, okay? And, and put way, make sure your stencil, your raised stencil is completely dry before you put your gesso on. Now, 
um, all of this will probably make better sense to you once you watch the video and I would really encourage you to watch the video the tutorial all the way through first so that you kind of understand what's happening and in the different um, techniques on the canvas that we're doing and then you can come back and you can forward and back and forth and back and forth but I would really encourage you to watch the full tutorial first okay um, so if you're going to use paints that you already have and it's not chalk paint and it's not uh, posh chalk paste make sure you put down some gesso and this is like a bonding primer it's going to have allow that acrylic to adhere to the gesso because sometimes acrylic doesn't adhere as well as chalk paint and paste they pretty much stick to everything okay the other thing that I want you to tell you about in the video is after as I'm going along there's different times where I've stopped like I put the brick down first I do the bricks and then I let it dry and then I come back and I start doing the other elements and the texture and let that all dry and throughout times when I'm putting the paint on I'll stop every hour or so and just let it dry if you as you're going along and you're watching this technique as I'm putting the paint on if you start to see your colors getting a little bit muddy just stop let it dry come back and sometimes it's good to leave your work to when you're starting to look at it and think I mean all the time I'll look at my work and think this is hideous and I leave and then I come back and I'm like I can see oh okay this looks good this is I need to fix this so sometimes we have to take ourselves away and then come back and have more of an objective eye the other thing that often helps me when I'm um, doing a, a, a big creative piece is I'll video it I like to video it and come back and watch for some reason when I video and I watch and I come back I'm like oh I should have done this or moved that so um, I don't know why it's just something that I do sometimes that is that can be helpful um, okay so we talked about gesso we talked about um, the different pastes and paints make sure you're cleaning your stencil after you put your paste on it's um, it is water soluble so you can just clean it in your sink it can go down the sink it won't plug it it'll be okay I usually just take a paintbrush under the water and go like this and it just comes right off you can use regular soap also for your paints the pastes just soap and water they're all water soluble so you're perfectly fine um, so this is our completed tutorial this is the cracked wall that you'll when you're done you will have this on a on a canvas now again you don't need one this big you can make it much smaller um, and you don't have to use these colors either if you would rather you know different colors I would choose um, some darks and some lights so I have I have basically these are my my dark and my light and then these are my this you know you're gonna need a black for sure and then I just wanted to add a touch of green into into the piece it's hardly even there there's just little bits of it here and there um, remember water is your friend when you're doing this I spritz a lot and allow paint to drip and you're gonna see this technique over and over again where I'm just blot and twist blot and twist blot and twist with a dry um, shop towel and what that does is it blends all of these together so it gets rid of your um, paint strokes from a brush or and it allows it to go the colors to go down deeper into where your textures are and and lighter uh, in different areas um, in the you can see I have some lighter spots here where I've come back with some drop cloth and again all I've done is just put it on with a little chip brush blot twist blot twist blot twist and when you watch the video you'll see how I do that and um, really it's just totally up to you the way you want it to look it is your art there is no rules there's no right or wrong um, and I hope that you'll just enjoy it and um, hopefully you'll come back and watch 
more of our tutorials with poppies and pansies decor and I don't even know if I introduced myself my name is Sunny and I am the owner of poppies and pansies decor and I am also a distributor for would you bend in here in the United States so I'm so excited to be here with you and excited for you to see the other artists they're incredibly talented and happy painting I hope you have a really great time and enjoy Bye-bye.